Nuketown 2025 in the new zombies map, Burr, uh, Le Tombeau, aka Origins. It is the uh, speculated DLC format for Let's Call of Duty match. Black Ops 2, Dans Le Robot. Je ne comprends pas, je ne parle pas français, s'il vous plaît. For Merci. Play the game central, speculated on this theory, this this new map that they're postulating as a theory is called Le Tombeau, aka Origins. And it's supposed to be the tomb, or whatever the French to English translation is. I don't understand French words, just only the ones I spoke earlier. About La Tumbo, La, La, La Tambo, the Tambourine Man. They also examined uh, the map Dorisa, and that is supposed to be a translation to the giant. This information is all sourced from their video, so you should go check them out. Because I don't like stealing information and then raping it for my YouTube channel purposes, my nefarious deeds. So. Their uh, translation was the giant for Derisa is the German translation to English. And according to the letters released from Treyarch, there's supposed to be giant metal men, robots in France. And it occurred to me that there's also robots in the Black Ops 2 campaign. And before I lose you on this Dr. Emmett Brown theory that I'm going into... We're going to take a look at the map, Nuketon 2025, and if you go into the backyard, you'll see the uh, Backyard Automaton, which is a robot. A miniature version, of, perhaps, of the Origins robot we're supposed to be seeing. Because Nuketown is inherently linked with zombies, as you've seen in the Nuketown Zombies map post-explosion. Nuketown 2025 is the alternate timeline. It's the resolution to what occurs in the Origins with stopping Maxis and his giant robot, which would be the giant version of the Backyard Automaton. Think of the Backyard Automaton as the Mark II of this same robot. Because in Nuketown 2025, this timeline here... Maxis was stopped, and the robot technology was sourced for good purposes and made miniaturized for homes. So Treyarch had this planned all along. From Nuketown rebuilt, and the moon missiles didn't need to be fired because Maxis was destroyed, and the robot technology was sourced for good later on. You'll also note, when I go back into theater mode, there's a curious little item in the backyard outside of Nuketown. Behind this this wall, I've been showing the tree in, in single player mode where it sort of goes all wonky when you get too close to the texture because it's loading a different tree model for high res. That's not there. That's not there not on purpose. We're going to show you why it's there, why they're doing that, because usually they wouldn't have to do it for something that close, switching models out. But in this case, they're doing it as a warning, a beacon sort of thing to draw your attention. So we'll go into the backyard in theater mode. And here you can see there's nothing there. There's nothing where I'm aiming the camera at. So we're going to go back into perspective mode. And when you shoot the push the button select icons in the garage with your sniper rifle in this order I'm showing you. And then knife the console unit, which will explode into sparks and rage. Now, when you go into theater mode and you go back there, you'll see something a little, a little surprising has popped up. That's a little hint towards zombies. I'm not going to say what it is. You can clearly see it on the screen. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank Play the Game Central. For posting their information on their website. You should go check it out. Playthegame.co uh, DarthDan97 for directing my attention to this web zone. And it's future proofiness. And I'd like to thank ultimately me for looking up some of this stuff. And using my eyes to read. That's it. And end of video. Cut. 
Be sure to play with that like button like you've got an extra chromosome and you can't control yourself. And while you're at it, subscribe to my channel. Consider subscribing youtube.com slash McCallahan Industries. Next time we find a new... Um, no, no we don't. Alright, bye. You're stealing your bro.